Technological advances in every field have been a boon to human existence. The same is true in the field of agriculture. With the ever-increasing population, our farming techniques would have to be efficient enough to feed the whole world. It is estimated that the population will almost double in the next four decades. This means that we'll have to produce twice the quantity of food that we are producing today. But there's an issue here. The amount of land available for agriculture will almost remain the same. So what do you think is a solution to this? How are we going to meet the demands of a growing population and prevent extreme shortages? Hello everyone and welcome to today's video on the farming technologies that will be implemented in the near future. We will show you the solution to every question you might have regarding the impending food crisis and how to avoid it. Watch this video right to the end to see for yourself the revolutionary techniques developed by our scientists. The implementation of various digital technologies, efficient engines, robots and drones has helped agriculture evolve into what it is today. From huge population of nations being employed in agriculture to only a minute part of the population practicing agriculture yet feeding the growing population, we have made great progress in farming effectively. What has helped us the most arguably is the supply of electricity across farms. This has facilitated farming as most equipment today are highly dependent on electricity for functioning. Here are some of the revolutionary techniques that will soon be widespread across the globe and have a huge impact on agricultural technology. Number 1. Drone Farming From monitoring crop plantation to crop growth, drones have helped in every sphere of farming and will help us further in the future. Operating drones to monitor crops might sound like a fun activity, and it is. Not only is it fun, but it's also quite efficient compared to humans. It also cuts down on a lot of labor costs. So what exactly do drones help us with? Let's start with the first step, sowing the seeds. Drones will prove to be a more cost-effective method compared to using tractors. This will also cut down labor costs. After this, for regular checks and surveillance on crop growth, drones would be ideal. So you see, drones have a lot of advantages and soon will have affordable drones that can be purchased by small-scale farmers as well. Drones will prevent chemical overuse, help farmers better prepare for all sorts of weather conditions, help in spraying the crops with nutrients, fertilizers, pesticides and insecticides, monitor growth of crops, help in soil field analysis, livestock management and a lot more. Don't you think using drones would be an amazing alternative to the prevalent methods used presently? Let us know what you think about this in the comment section below. Number 2. Vertical Farms Vertical farms? What on earth is that? Well, if you've watched movies like The Martian, you probably know what we're talking about. As we mentioned earlier, we have limited space on our planet. That's one reason why high-rises became more popular that spaced-out bungalows, the paucity of space. Now, imagine a high-rise. The difference is that this is a high-rise for plants, not humans. Not exactly, but pretty much like that. You'll know what we're talking about when you see it for yourself. Basically, instead of having sprawling acres of land used to grow crops, we'll have more compact structures that will fit acres of crops within just a few square feet with the help of vertical farming. Farmers can stack the crops one on top of the other and use LED lighting instead of conventional sunlight. Plants can be easily grown and monitored in controlled environments solving multiple issues of limited space, crop management, and labor with one solution. Europe's biggest vertical farm grows 1,000 tons of food a year, so this is quite a viable and profitable idea. The best part is that this can be practiced in cities as well that will help cut down on logistic costs and feed the growing population of the cities. You have to agree with us on this one. Vertical farming looks quite aesthetic too. It's like this really modern botanical garden that is producing tons of food for consumption. Number 3. Robots and Other Modern Farming Machinery Robots have become perfect tools for farmers to pursue all agricultural activities effectively. The use of robots in farming has only increased over the past few years and shows great scope for better interventions in other areas of farming even in the future. So where exactly are these robots deployed? Literally everywhere. Robots are quicker and more efficient than humans in fruit picking and have been used for this. One robot for one type of crop, the future challenge is to develop the same robots that will harvest crops and pick fruits so that farmers don't have to purchase different robots for different crops. Another place where robots are used is in spraying the fields with pesticides and fertilizers. Instead of spraying across the farm the way we humans do, these highly advanced robots will implement precision farming and only spray in areas where the chemicals are needed. This will prevent soil pollution, overuse of chemicals, and reduce the total amount of money spent on chemicals. That's not all. We've got robotic tractors that do not require humans to drive them around. Take a look. But did you know? 
The idea for using robots in agriculture is not new. The research on this began during the 1920s, in fact. If you've come this far, take a minute to subscribe to our channel so that you stay on top of all the latest developments. Like our video so that we are encouraged to make more amazing content to satiate your hunger for knowledge. The next technology that we'll show has already helped optimize farming to a great extent. It is, number four, smart crop monitoring. Agriculture is hugely dependent on heavy machinery that requires regular maintenance, crop management and pest control. As we told you earlier, this involves a lot of hidden expenses and labor costs. We've already cut down on a lot of them using drones and robots, but how are we going to regulate all of this? The answer lies in smart crop monitoring. The implementation of IoT or the Internet of Things in the field of agriculture is going to be a milestone in the sector. This will help farmers increase production by 70% by the end of 2050. Planting, watering, crop gathering and pest control. Agriculture field monitoring collects a range of metrics farmers can act on to manage these tasks efficiently. Smart crop monitoring has more functions than just what the name suggests. Monitoring the soil quality and nutrient content using sensors is also another benefit of this technology. Farmers can say goodbye to unpredictable weather for which they used to be unprepared. With the use of this technology, they will receive accurate weather predictions as well. This is not only limited to crop management. The use of this technology and IoT can be extended to livestock management as well. If you want to know more about the future technologies that will be used in the livestock sector, do let us know in the comments section below. A number of tech giants such as IBM are investing in research and development in this field of agriculture. It's highly likely that in a few years. Number 5. GPS Agriculture Remember we mentioned precision agriculture? Of course, we're going to need smart crop monitoring and drones to make that a reality, but the technology instrumental in its success is Global Positioning System. The GPS software enables the gathering of real-time data collection with accurate position information, leading to the efficient manipulation and analysis of collected data. Precision agriculture is rapidly growing due to the introduction of high technology tools into the agriculture community which is more accurate, cost-effective and user-friendly. A GPS tracking system will play a phenomenal role in helping farmers manage their farms. This is not only true for large farms but will also work for smaller farms. The GPS tracking systems and software will help farmers navigate to specific locations in the field year after year for crop monitoring. Hence, smart crop monitoring and GPS go hand in hand. The information received through GPS will also help mapping the field boundaries and use better irrigation systems. It will also aid in the identification of pest or insect infested crop areas so that the problems can be tackled immediately. This means that farmers will not have to physically walk around acres of land to monitor their crops regularly. What a relief, isn't it? GPS has already been implemented in farming in a lot of countries and the results have been phenomenal. Over the next few decades, these technologies will be used throughout the globe as nations are working together to mitigate the issues of food shortage. If you enjoyed watching this video and found it informative, don't forget to like and share it. Subscribe to our channel for more content and press the bell icon so that you never miss an update.